Hi, VIP Kid teachers. This is Penny Davis, and I wanted to give you a video today to help you with uh, how to record yourself teaching with the slides. Now, this is not absolutely perfect, but this is a great option for you if you want to record yourself um, teaching the slides and you can't get into the VIP Kid classroom. Uh, so maybe for your, your interview or your mock classes or uh, maybe you have to do a demo class to add a level certification. Uh, all of those things you can use for, uh, for this for. And we're gonna do this using Zoom. And so I'm gonna walk you through every step of how to do that. So uh first thing is you are going to you might want to practice and watch yourself uh you know when we watch ourselves, we see things that we never really realize did i really use all that incidental language or wow really i, I really didn't smile that much uh it wasn't very energetic i didn't you oh man i didn't use enough tpr uh and and i really didn't use synthetic phonics man that that you know i said buh buh guh guh all throughout there so uh it's it's great to see you find out things about yourself and about your teaching when you record yourself and watch yourself. You might need to record that express interview or your demo class uh, to send in to VIP Kid. So this is a great option for you to use to do that recording. Okay, so, and do, we're gonna do this for free too. We always, we always like free, don't we? Yeah, we like free, okay? So the first thing you're going to do uh, is you're gonna open a PDF file of the slides on your computer. Now you may have gotten these in an email as you're going through the, uh, the interview process. Uh, you, or you might download them for, from the teacher portal, uh, whichever way you do, but you're gonna open up that PDF file that has the slides for whatever class you're going to do that in okay then go back to your browser and you're going to go to zoom.us okay zoom.us and sign up for a free account now vip kid uses zoom a lot for all their workshops and meetings and uh the kickoff meeting the the uh google or the hangout session uh, all of these things are used uh they use zoom for uh but you can also use zoom to create your own conference and use it in there and it's and it's for free you can use this um for free in there up to a 40 minute session so uh, we might as well take advantage of that and you can record the session and everything on there so might as well take advantage of it in uh, while we can to do that so you've gone to zoom.us see the uh, the the address there and you're gonna click over here on the right side and this is just a, a screenshot so I can't show you all of the clicking there okay but you're going to click on host a meeting and then with video on you definitely want to make sure that the video is on okay and then you're going to have these things pop up okay so make sure you if you have a pop-up blocker um, on your computer on your browser make sure you turn it off for zoom but you're gonna have this box block pop up you're gonna have this box pop up and then you'll have your video okay and that that'll picture kick pick you up wherever isn't that a lovely picture of me with the light glaring in from the side where the door it was open just lovely Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to, uh, then you're going to click this little green bar here that says join audio conference by computer and make sure that everything is working correctly. Now down here in the bottom left corner, if you can see my cursor here, uh, it has join audio and, uh, then uh, once you click on join audio, that will change to a little microphone and you will see uh, some green lights coming up on the, the microphone. That just means that your, your mic is working. Uh, with the, the video here, you can click on the arrow here and once the, 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 uh, the microphone comes up, there'll be an arrow beside it as well. And that will allow you to choose a different microphone. So maybe if you've got the microphone on your webcam or 
if you've got the microphone on your headphones, you can choose whichever one you want to use. So just make sure that you, uh, that you can choose one of those uh, to do this with, okay? So you've gotten the audio and the video working well. And all right, so now with this one, you can use this to actually conference with someone else. Maybe there's another teacher that you've been talking with or chatting with um, from our group, or maybe you just post in the group, hey, who wants to practice for Mach 1 or whatever it is, and you can actually invite someone else to come and join you. You would click on invite, and then uh, another box is going to pop up, and uh, it, you could, there's a button at the bottom of it that says copy URL. So you just click that, and it's going to copy the URL onto your clipboard. Then you could go to whatever messaging you're doing with this person and say, hey, come join me here. And um, they could just have to click on that link, and then you'll both be in the conference together, and you can work together on this. Wouldn't that be great to, to work with someone else? Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. So now you're going to click on uh, whether it's just you or if it's you and somebody else. Okay. Um, that it works the same way for this one. All right. So you're going to click on share screen. Okay. This should be, it should be at the bottom of your screen with this one. So you're going to click on share screen and then this little window is going to pop up. And this has all of the things that are open on your computer, okay? So you're going to click on this one, okay? The, the one, remember that PDF file that for the slides that we already opened? You're going to click on that one, and it will open up the, um, the slides in Zoom, where you can see them in the Zoom conference room. Okay, so you click on that one and then you click on share screen and then you will see this on your computer. Okay, so here's the PDF file and then uh, over here, this is where your video of you has moved to. Okay, so right now it's kind of small. You can click on this bigger white button. The blue means this is the one that's active. You can click on the bigger white button and it will make your video bigger. Okay, so when you do click on that one, you can see I'm bigger now. Okay, and you can also move this around. So you can move your video over to the side a little bit where it's not blocking the, the slides or anything like that. Okay, now that menu that was down at the bottom, see there's the, the microphone there and the video and everything. That menu has now moved to the top of the screen. Sometimes the little black bar disappears, it, it goes up, and you just have to hover over the green. The green will still be showing. You just have to hover over the green and this menu will come back down. You want to go over to the far right where it says more and then click on record on this computer or you can record to the cloud either way, um, whichever way you want to do there, wherever you want to record. But just click on record on this computer and that will start the recording this video for you. Okay, so now you have uh, started recording, and uh, but there's a little bit different to the way we do things in uh, on Zoom than you do with a uh, in the the actual VIP Kid classroom. In the VIP Kid classroom, we can draw on the the, the slides. We draw in red. Our students draw in blue, um, and uh, but it goes automatically from. Uh, from the drawing on the slide. And then if we need to change the slides, there'll be a small arrow over here on the right side. And you click on that arrow and it will move you to the next slide. Well, here on the PDF viewer, it doesn't work that easy, okay? And it, it just makes it a little bit awkward here, but it's as close as I can get to letting you actually practice in the classroom, okay? So to switch from one slide to next, you just have to use the scroll button on your, um, on your mouse to switch from one slide to the next. Um, and sometimes it will scroll it and sometimes it'll automatically just go to the next page. Uh, just depends on, on your settings on your computer. Now, there is um, a backup to this menu that we saw here. There are buttons that you need to know how to use here. We're gonna go to the Anna annotate. Okay, this is where the record was, but we're going to go to annotate here, and I want you to find the buttons for mouse, 
for draw and for clear okay to draw on the screen you've got to click here on draw and then a little black box will come in here below and it'll have a little squiggly line it's got a thin squiggly line and then it'll have a thicker squiggly line just click on the thin squiggly line and that lets you draw on the screen just like we draw in the VIP kid classroom if you go over here to format and just hover over format that will let you change the color of your drawing and like I said we draw in red and our students draw in blue so maybe you'll choose red if you're teaching and if you've got a friend that's in here with you they can draw on the screen too they'll have to go to the, the same menu and I think theirs will it'll be a little bit different since they're not the host of the meeting uh, but it's something you know, they just have them find the annotate button uh, in there and then click on draw but maybe they would switch theirs to blue so you could see the difference between the two colors okay now in the VIP kid classroom when we switch to a new slide it automatically uh, erases all of the drawing well we can't do that here in the PDF viewer in the in view in zoom so you have to use the clear button here and that's going to clear all of the drawing off of the screen you can choose to clear just yours or clear everything so, but just clear everything off of the screen using the little garbage can here, clear button. But then after you've done the drawing, you have to switch back to the mouse and then you have to just click on the mouse button and then start scrolling again to change it. So for each slide that you do, you have to, you know, you get on the slide, you have to click draw, then you do your drawing, then you have to click clear, and then you have to click on mouse to go to the next slide. And I know that's a little awkward here and, uh, uh, but it still is a lot easier than not being able to draw at all or not being able to practice. So just understand that it's going to be a little different, a little awkward here. It's much, much easier in the classroom because you don't have to go back and forth and choose the drawing and then choose the clear or whatever. Okay. All right. So it's easier to draw and switch the slides. As I just talked about, when we go to a new slide, it automatically erases and it's going to change from the drawing to the mouse automatically. Now, when you are done, you're going to go back up to that top menu uh, and click on more or those three little dots and click end recording. And then you're going to click on stop share. Okay, so end recording and stop shared. So that's going to take away the, uh, the slides that you were just viewing and it's going to go back to the big picture of just your video. Then you're going to click on end meeting for all. Again, you have 40 minutes in the Zoom conference room for free. So, um, so you can go take that video up to 40 minutes. And the great thing is if you take all of those 40 minutes to do it, you can just go back in and make a new conference and, and do it again. Okay, so and you can do that as many times as you want to. Now, once you end the conference, um, your video is going to process. It's going to pop up with a little window that says your video is now processing, and it'll have a, a little bar there to show how fast it's going. Uh, and it, it'll take a few minutes. The longer your video is, the longer it will take to, to process it. Uh, but it will process the, the video, and then you're going to go, you're going to find your recording. If you've recorded, it on the computer go to uh, your documents and zoom will automatically create a folder called zoom and then in that folder is going to be all of your different zoom meetings I've got a whole list of mine from all the different zoom meetings and so you just click on the zoom meeting and it's arranged by date and time you click on the zoom meeting that you just did and then this one right here the zoom O, that one is the video and the audio together on it so you can click on that one and watch yourself or email it or um, whatever you need to do okay so you can you can send it to someone you can send it to VIP kid if you've done use this uh, technique to uh, record your express interview or something like that you can email that video to them on uh, so they can they can watch your recordings okay so I hope this helped you out a lot and I hope you can use this to practice um, to watch yourself maybe practice with a friend uh, on this one and that would
would that's going to be a great help to you. Uh, if you have not uh, joined our group, I encourage you to join our Facebook coaching group called VIP Kid Teachers Wanted. It is found at www.facebook.com slash groups slash VIP Kid Teachers Wanted. Why does that have a dot com on there? That should not be on there. Hang on. Look, I'll show you how to draw. See, take that dot com off. That should not be there, okay? Just facebook.com slash group slash VIP Kid Teachers Wanted. Uh, and that is our group that is to help everyone get, uh, get hired. We answer questions. We have coaching sessions. We have videos posted, tips posted for every step of the process. We've had hundreds of teachers that have been hired through our Facebook group. And so I encourage you to come and uh, be a part of that group if you are trying to get hired with VIP Kid. If you have not registered with VIP Kid yet, and you're just looking at, at it and wondering about it, I would love to have you use my referral code so that I can, can help you through the process. The QR code in the bottom right corner, if you just snap that one with your, um, with your phone, that will take you straight to the VIP Kid site so you can fill out the application. Or the link will also, is here, but it will also be in the description of this video here on YouTube. Uh, if you go to VIP Kid, uh, t, the, the address t.vipkid.com.cn uh, and start registering there, there's a place for you to put in a referral code. That referral code uh, for me is 049A85. That is a zero at the beginning, not an O. Okay. If you've already applied for VIP Kid and you did not use a referral code, I would sure appreciate if you would add mine on there. I can help you a lot more if you are one of my referrals. So you can email them at teachvip at vipkid.com.cn. Make sure you've got that dot .cn at the end or it won't get to them. And just say in the email, please link Penny Davis, personalized by Penny at gmail.com, code 049A85 to my application as my referring teacher. If you use my code, this is what you get. You get a free copy of my ebook that I've written called The Unofficial Guide to VIP Kid from a Teacher's Perspective. I have walked you through every step of the way through the interview process and through getting hired and then how to start teaching and what kinds of things to, to look for as you are teaching. It's a huge book. It's like 75 pages long um, and it has been a huge help for lots of people getting, uh, getting hired. Uh, you also get access to online coaching sessions that we hold in the VIP Kid Teachers Wanted Facebook group. We held, hold these multiple times a week and we'll cover the interview, we'll cover the Mach 1, we'll cover Mach 2, um, and we do those multiple times a week and only the people that have used my referral code or one of our other admins in the group uh, are allowed to participate in those coaching sessions. So uh, please do use, uh, please do add that, that code in there. And then we'll, uh, we answer questions. You can private message to uh, myself or one of the other admins and we will help you through that process okay thanks so much for watching tonight i hope this has helped you out and is going to help you become a better uh, vip kid teacher and is going to help you through the process if you have questions please be sure and email me or facebook message me thanks so much bye-bye